What's going on with this little curl right here? It just, this little curl right here just has a mind of its own. <laughs> Curly girl problems. sister friends and welcome to Born to be Zesty. If you're new here, my name is Tori and on my YouTube channel I focus on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle where I also share my passions for food, fitness, and home decor. So if any of those topics interest you, I hope that you'll stick around. But I'm also starting a new series that I am calling the Style Lab. I'll be sharing with you all the items that I picked up, but instead of just showing the items styled up, I'm gonna actually style them up with you and walk you through my thought process. So we'll look at a smaller number of garments per haul, but that does mean that we'll have several like little mini hauls along the way. I think this will be super fun. I hope it will be helpful to you all, a little bit more engaging, a little more involved, and to help provide you with some styling tips and inspiration. So without further ado, let's get into the styling lab. Okay, so let's get into the pieces that I'm going to be styling up for you guys today. So first up, I have this adorable little black sweater. It's so cute, so girly, so dainty, so pretty. I absolutely love it. I feel like this is truly just like a classic piece. You can see up close, it kind of has like some cabling detail on the front, but really what makes this sweater special is this beautiful beaded detailing that wraps completely around the crew neck. It does have that little like loop button closure in the back that I absolutely hate, but this one seems to be pretty easy to use. I do think it's a very classic piece. Definitely lends itself to styling in a number of different ways. I purchased this piece in a size medium as I do generally size up in all of my tops and knits. I like for them to fit a little bit more relaxed. So I purchased this one in a size medium and it was $49.90. Next up, I have have another great little knit piece for you all which is this adorable navy blue and white cardigan like how absolutely cute is that I love the high stand collar zips up the front it's got that beautiful classic nautical striping what I really love about this one is that the way that the striping detail then turns um, on the sleeve so you've got the stripes going horizontally here and then they're going vertically here on the sleeve. It's got a bit of a flared sleeve, which I also think is really cute. And this piece is cropped, giving you kind of that classic feel with a bit of a modern update on it. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I also purchased this piece in a size medium and it was $47.90. For reference, I am 5'6". I'm a US size 2 to 4. In Zara, I generally am a size extra small or a small in pants. And uh, as I said before, I generally go for a size medium and tops. Next up is this adorable little tank top. As it's got no. those kind of like thin spaghetti straps. It almost gives you like that racer back feel. But what I really like about this one, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, is that it's sheer and it does have a bit of ribbing on it, but it's got, but it's a very lightweight sheer piece. I feel like this is such a fun little way to play up on the sheer trend, which is going absolutely nowhere anytime soon. Of course, tank tops are like those essential layering pieces that you need in the spring and summer months. So this one gives you that tank top with just a little bit of interesting detail, which I absolutely love. I also purchased this in a size medium and it was $17.90, an absolute steal. And the fabric is so super soft, like this is really nice. Next up, I have another like little classic spring summer layering piece. This one has a nice high neckline. I also purchased this in a size medium and it was $15.90. Next up, I was so excited about these. 
this super dark wash denim. Now this one is a high rise denim. It does have a bit of stretch in it. It's a full length pant, but this has that super wide turned up cuff on it, which really lends to adding those extra features that really add style to your look. Now this particular pair of pants, when I saw it online, I thought that the cuffing was like tacked, but it's not. So you can uncuff it and then just wear it as a full length straight leg pant. The silhouette on these is so nice. They're super flattering. Again, I love that super dark rinse on it with that yellow contrast stitch. You've got a few little places where they give you a little pop of red, which I think is another great little added feature. Again, that yellow contrast stitch repeats itself at the bottom of the cuff. On the website, it said that these ran small, so I did go ahead and size up just to be sure. So I got these in a US size six. I would say that I am probably between a four and a six. Upon trying them on, I can definitely see where they do run small. So this is a pair that you will want to size up on. So I purchased these in a US size six or a size 38. They were $49.90. Again, super versatile piece. I'll definitely be able to utilize these in my wardrobe for years to come. Super excited about these. And lastly, for today's styling haul, are these adorable Bermuda shorts. They're very, very similar to the denim pant that I just shared with you. Bermuda shorts are going to be trending in a major way for the upcoming spring and summer season. The weight on them is really nice. They're substantial. Just like the jeans, these do have a little bit of stretch to them, just a little bit. Very, very relaxed fit. These are called the relaxed capris. Now these do run true to size. So I purchased this in a US size four or a size 36. I will say that this one is actually a little bit big for me, but again, I really love like that slouchy, relaxed feel that they give. Absolutely adorable. They were $49.90. Be sure to have everything linked in the description box below. Now let's jump into the styling. Okay, so I'm gonna be styling all of the looks with the two bottoms that I have in this haul. So that'll be the turned up cuff denim as well as the denim Bermuda shorts. So for this first look, I'm going in with this beautiful beaded sweater. Now because this sweater has a lot of detailing on it, you don't need to add a lot to this look as well as that added element of that large turned up cuff. So we just need to do a few things to actually style up the look. So so I want to play up the beaded detail of the sweater. So for earrings, I'm going to go in with these little black studs. Again, keeping the look very polished, very simple. I want to lean into a very minimal and somewhat preppy vibe. You do need to create a little bit of some waistline here. So you can do one of two things. You can do a little half French tuck, just making sure that everything still lays in a really flattering way, revealing more of your waistline and giving you more of a silhouette. Or you can also just take the sweater and just kind of tuck it under, which for this particular look, I prefer. I prefer the tuck because again, it defines the waist and it lifts the sweater a little bit up off of my hips. The sweater is a little bit of a longer line. So just leaving it plain makes the, line, makes the hem of the sweater hit me at the widest portion of my body, which distorts the frame. Well, I like it this way with this little tuck. Brings the top up, giving me the proper one third to two thirds ratio balancing the frame. Now initially I was going to go with this little kitten heel again because I kind of want it to lean into that preppy vibe and that is super cute and a great option but I want to give this look just a little bit of edge. So I feel like if I go with my chunky Mary Janes which again, still kind of play into that very classic tailored preppy vibe, but the chunkiness of the shoe, a little bit of edge and gives it a unique quality. Okay, so I switched out the little black patent leather kitten heel for these black patent leather chunky Mary Janes. And you can just see how it adds a little bit of flair, a bit of personality, and just makes the look my own. Now let's get into accessories. So again, playing into the beads, I'm gonna go with this like little set, black smoky beads. I'd go in with a small bag and a pair of edgy sunnies. Yeah, gives you classic and tailored with just a bit of edge. So here's the first look. Oh, 
Oh wait, I almost forgot to show you guys the pants uncuffed and in their full length. Let me show you what that looks like. So they're nice and long, which I absolutely love. Just a classic pair of elevated straight leg denim. Okay, for the next look, I'm gonna style up the denim with the white tank top. So I wanna give you guys a view of the tank top on. You can see the back of it. Super soft. This is a great little elevated basic layering piece. For this look, I'm gonna go in with the striped nautical cardigan. And absolutely adorable. You guys can see the length of the sleeves. Nice long sleeves. There's just something about a really long sleeve that I like. It just looks very effortless and very chic. I am going to just allow the t-shirt to kind of just fall naturally just kind of blouse it up so that it's not like stretched out over the denim but I don't necessarily want to do a tuck so initially I was thinking I was gonna go in with this adorable like little flat kitten heel with the ankle strap which I think would be really great so simply because of the length and the silhouette of these denim I feel like I need elevation so for this look I am gonna go in my white Mary Jane pump. So Carrie Bradshaw, I absolutely love these. Okay, so here's the look with the pumps. It's cute, it's giving, I'm feeling it, I love it. I'm definitely moving into my tailored, minimal, classic, with a dose of edge era. That's where I am. So for earrings, I'm gonna go in with pearl studs because I've really been loving the play on pearls that is currently going strong. So I'm gonna add in more layers of pearls, which plays into both the classic and edgy vibe of the look. Let me show you what I mean. Now I could go for it this way with just the two simple strands of chunky pearls, which I do think is really cute. I do love this vibe, but I'm really into like the whole layering thing. So let's add a few more. Okay, so I swapped out the two chunky strands for multi-strand pearls. And look at how it just changes the vibe. Like definitely moves it from that place of being very, very classic to a place where it's definitely showing some personality, some personal style, and just a little bit of edge because it's such an unexpected combination. Now with this look for a bag, I could go one of two directions. If I were gonna go with a white bag, I would go with my oversized Burberry tote, which is in storage, which I just realized that I need to pull out. If I went with the oversized white tote, I would go in with these sunglasses. Again, kind of leaning into that classic minimal vibe. However, my second thought is this. But I also really like the idea of my navy blue sunnies, and they have just like a slight kind of mirrored reflective lens to it. Again, so super chic, super classic. I love the oversized look of this. And then I decided to pop in my silver bag. It just adds another little like layer of texture and shine and an unexpected element to the look. I absolutely love it. For this look, it would also be great. Like I could swap out these white heels for like a silver pump or a little silver sandal, which would be equally cute with the silver bag. Again, you've got so many options and that's, and that's what we want. We want to add versatile pieces into our wardrobe that allow us to style them in multiple ways, expanding our wardrobe, but also offering a little bit of curation because the pieces can be so easily mixed and matched. The other thought that I had while styling this up, I would also definitely, if you were going for it, wanting to go for a more casual look, kind of with this mix, I could also throw this on with a little Bermuda shorts and a pair of like sleek, clean, low quarter, white classic sneakers. That would be absolutely adorable. So for the last look with the denim trousers, I wanted to go for red. I really love the look of red against the dark rinsed denim. Contrast just adds such a vibrant pop of color, yet it's very subdued and very classic. I absolutely love it. Now let's style up this look. Because I am going for a classic look, this time I'm gonna go in with a blazer layered over this seamless tank top. 
Now we're going to have to imagine that the jeans fit me properly so they're nice and cinched in the waist. And then having this little crop top, you just get a little sliver of skin here. Definitely gives it a bit of modern edge. I'm going to go in with these red patent leather mules. So cute. I love the like pointy toe on them. That's going to look really good peeking out from beneath the denim. And of course the patent leather adds another little extra of texture. Okay, so here is the base of the look. And thus far I absolutely love it. Blazer has these beautiful gold buttons. So we're going to lean into the gold hardware, which actually adds in another layer of color as well as polish to the look. First, I'm going to add this beautiful gold ring. I think this necklace which has some like hammered gold elements. I think that does a really good job of complementing the buttons on the blazer. So I feel like this is the perfect addition. Now we just need earrings, sunnies, and a bag. I'm gonna go with these gold knotted earrings. I think they're the perfect size. They do a great job of complementing the necklace. And the kind of that rope detailing plays into the slightly nautical vibe that this red textured blazer gives. I think I'm going to go with the Fendi. I think it has just the right amount of red so as not to overwhelm the look, but the other colors in it as well as that like kind of neutral camel backing, although the bag is really colorful, I think that kind of helps to subdue the look overall. Okay, we could go with these, which I think is really nice. I like the subtlety of the gold on these. Really cute, but I'm not sure. Let's see. Because my mind was thinking aviators. Yep, my mind was right. So I really like the look of the aviators with this. Of course, we've got the nice strong gold gold frame, which really works well with all of the other gold hardware and the look. The amber lens does a great job of complementing both the red as well as the bag. I'm really feeling this look. Yeah, this is a vibe. She's chic, she's classic, she's modern, she's tailored, and it's funky. Like, I absolutely love it. So now let's get into the shorts. First, I want you guys to be able to see the shorts on the body. So as I mentioned before, these are a size small. Um, you can see they are quite a big, big for me. Um, I'm not sure if this comes in an extra small, but I do like that very slouchy, like relaxed feel of them. For me, I feel like because of the design of the shorts, that's kind of the vibe and the fit that you want to go for. So really feeling the whole blazer thing right now. I'm going to sew this up with another blazer. Let me grab it. So I will need to add a little bit of polish to this look. So first let's work on the t-shirt. Because I want this to be a modern classic look and the t-shirt is very slouchy and the jeans are a bit of a low rise, I'm gonna take the t-shirt and I'm actually gonna just make a little knot in the back. I need for the underpinning for the jacket to be a little bit more fitted to the body to give me some shape and some silhouette and because we've really got that relaxed feel in the shorts, the top needs to be a bit more fitted. Yeah, I just made a little knot here in the back just to kind of pull in the tail of the shirt, make it a little more fitted to the body, but you can see I still have nice coverage here in the front. Now let's add the blazer. Okay, yeah, that is super cute. Loving that. Got a little flip of the collar, of course. I'm gonna give these sleeves a bit of a push. And mind you, in that first look with the red jacket, definitely I would push the sleeves. I did it for somehow I didn't record it, but you definitely want to give the sleeve of the jacket a little push to give it some zhuzh. Now you can see this jacket also has gold buttons. We're going to amplify the gold hardware with gold accessories. I love this little ring. It works. So I'm going to pop it back on. Something about this green is just giving me like spring garden vibes. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with these Statement Daisy earrings. How cute is that? So because we've got a Statement earring, no need for a necklace, we can skip that piece. We don't want to overclutter the area, make the look look overdone and tacky. Now let's go in with a shoe and a bag. 
So for this look, I'm going to go in with my little green sling back. Sling backs are back. They're trending and I love it. I'm so excited for it. They're one of the best shoes ever. Super comfortable, super versatile. They look amazing. Tailored, elevated, all the things. Okay, we're looking cute. I like it. I like it. Okay, let me pick out a bag and some sunnies. Okay, yep, I like these better. Again, it's just it's a little bit more pared down, leaning more into that classic minimal vibe, but still giving me just the right amount of edge. You've got the ombre lens, and I love a sunglass where you can still kind of see the eye. It gives a little bit of mystery, and I think it's very sexy. Now, I could definitely also go in with the Fendi with this look for the same reasons that I went with it for the red look. It adds just the right amount of green to the look without overwhelming it with green. And the rest of the colors, along with the neutral backdrop of the bag, kind of helps to bring it down and give it balance. I do really like this look, but I'm just feeling the green bag. As if you see on the jacket, it's got some deeper threading of green throughout. And I just feel like the green of the bag as well as the green of the shoe really kind of helps to pull that out of the jacket and that's why this bag for me is the better option. daily style inspiration, be sure to check me out on Pinterest, TikTok, and Instagram. That's where my daily style inspo goes up, and that way you never miss a look. If you're enjoying the content thus far, be sure to stop and give it a big thumbs up. This lets YouTube know that you're enjoying my video and that they should push my content out to more viewers, which will hopefully bring more subscribers to my growing channel. If you're watching on television, you just arrow up to that little circle where you see my face, and then arrow over to the right and hit the like button. If you're enjoying the pieces, the looks, the styling tips and tricks, or you're just enjoying my vibe, go ahead and subscribe. For those of you who have already subscribed to the channel, thank you so very much for your support. I can't begin to tell you how much it means to me. Please go ahead and hit the notification bell so that you never miss an upload. This next look, I'm going to go with something that's just a little bit more funky, a little bit more edgy, but still with that tailored, modern, classic vibe. Let's get into it. I've gone in with another layering piece, just a very basic, simple tank top. It does have a high neck. It's got the raw edges, which I absolutely love, as well as the seaming down the front. I added a belt, which I love the way that the belt kind of picks up on the contrast stitching in the denim. Such a great job of complementing one another and kind of adds a bit of warmth to the look. So I'm gonna go in with this kind of mustard yellow cardigan for my layering piece. I really love the cut and the silhouette of this one. It's not a traditional cardigan. As the cut of it has a little bit of like an open swing detail with this wide shawl collar. Absolutely love this. As you can see, it's got a tortoiseshell button here. We're gonna play with the tones and the button. And I love the way that this yellow picks up, amplifies, and complements gold stitching detail in the shorts. Shoes, I'm gonna go with this cheetah print pony hair ankle strap sandal. Got a nice block heel on it. You've got the peep toe. These are so cute. And of course, animal prints are a neutral. So don't be afraid to mix them up with other elements in your closet. You can see where the darker brown elements here do a great job of complementing the color of the belt. That kind of muted gold detailing works well with this mustard yellow sweater. Okay, this is cute. This is definitely giving. Loving the way all all of these elements play together and complement the overall color palette. Now let's choose some accessories and sunnies to finish off the look. I'm gonna go with this two-tone cuff. I just feel like this sweater needs something that's sleek. Because I decided to go with the two-tone bracelet, I'm gonna go in with my Julia Sterling Silver Tritone Ring. It's got elements of gold, rose gold, and silver, and I love the way that the swirling detail complements the swirls on the bracelet. It's all about the details, girls. That looks great. And I'm gonna go ahead and play up the mixed metals. I'm gonna go in with these two-tone earrings. And I love the size of them with the sweater. <laughs> I'm putting on my earrings. I don't know what's going on with this little curl right here. It just, this little curl right here just has a mind of its own. <laughs> Curly girl problems. Okay, yeah, so I'm loving that. 
And I feel like because we've got that shawl collar detail and the statement earrings, we don't need a necklace. Again, we don't want to clutter the look, make it look clownish, and just do too much by adding too many. So let's pick a bag and some sunglasses to finish the look. I keep the hardware on the frame of the sunnies a little bit minimal. So I'm going to go in with this. It's got that see-through lens. Oh yeah, these are perfect. And for the bag, so this cute little funky shape gold bag. I absolutely love the look of this. This just adds another little element of personality. It adds some sparkle and shine and polish. It adds texture because of the hard metal. Like just so cute. Loving this look. So for my final look, we're going to go for something that's very chic and edgy with some very classic silhouettes. So for this look, I layered in a sheer tank top with the little spaghetti straps and the racer back feel. I cannot put my hands on my black strapless bra at the moment. I have no idea where it is, which is deeply concerning. So just pretend that you can't see. The <laughs> so just pretend that you can't see my bra straps. So here's the top. Again, you can see that bit of texture that it has. Sheer, super duper soft, very subtle ribbing. Really, really cute piece. I absolutely love this. So I already went in and added a very thin and delicate black patent leather belt with a little silver buckle. Here's the base of the look. Now let's style it up. So for this look, I'm going to go in with my black Manoa Blonic sandals. As you can see, it has this really nice like little chunky silver detail on it, which is going to work so well with this look. And the leather on these is patent leather, thus the patent leather belt. So just kind of pulling all of those elements together. Again, it's all about the details. So for my next styling element, I'm going to layer this up with some silver necklaces. Now what I wish I really had were some of those fabulous pieces from Dillamex. Um, yeah, those are way out of my budget, but we're going to work with what we got. So I layered in pieces that are black and silver and gunmetal to kind of create this edgy, vampy, gothic vibe. I absolutely love it. For earrings, I kept them very minimal because we've got a lot going on with the necklaces. So I just went in with two small silver hoops. So next I'm gonna go in with my black motorcycle jacket. This one I love because it does not have any hardware on it. It's a really great dupe for the Saint Laurent jacket that, again, is way out of my budget. And honestly, i got to tell you, if it was in my budget, I'm not sure I would spend $7,000 on a jacket. Who knows? But for this look, the jacket is a part of the look, which is why we went in with something very light and airy underneath. So let me come in close so you can get a look at the jacket. So cute. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We love. I love the jacket because it's cropped, it's oversized, it kind of gives you the feel that it's got structure in the shoulders, like such a good little piece. So of course I'm going to pop the collar. That just does something for me. <laughs> Actually it does something for everything. I'm going to wear the jacket open and relax. And I got to tell you, as I was putting this together, now like if my hair were like slicked back, I would just totally commit to the look and go in with this Baker Boy with this like little fishnet overlay. Like, can you guys see it? Can you see it? Are you getting the vibe? That would be a moment. We just need sunnies in a bag to finish this look. Okay, so as far as sunnies are concerned, I've got two great options here that I think either one of them would look fantastic with this look. Initially, I was gonna go in with my black aviators with the silver frames, but I wanna go in a little bit of a different direction. So, I've got these like silver shields. They've got like the little studs on the side, kind of like a see-through lens, which I really like. Definitely kind of works with the overall vibe of the look, super edgy, picks up on all of the little silver hardware. What do we think? I'm cute. Okay, but wait, you gotta check these out. Then I'm thinking that I could also go in with my Gucci's and just get a jet black giving that really super deep, like, 
I'm filling the black. <laughs> and then of course, just for that added little touch of juxtaposition, I'm going to go in with a silver clutch. It picks up on all of the silver hardware in the look. And again, it just adds another layer of personality because a silver clutch with this is just so totally unexpected. You know, I could go in with like a little black bag with this, which is just as cute. And because this one is very relaxed, it makes more sense with the overall look. So although I do really like, I love the look of the silver with it. <laughs> so I really do love the look of the all black with it. It makes perfect sense. It adds another layer of texture because of the weave on the bag. Picks, it really leans into that deep, dark, kind of gothic look of it, which I really, really do like. And this one honestly makes more sense overall with the look, especially because I decided to go with the dark black sunny. But because I'm extra, I like this little added piece. Again, it's just, it's personality. It shows off my style and the way that I would just want to kind of polish this off with something unexpected, something not every day, and something that really, again, is in total contrast to the overall look. I love it. enjoyed this style of video if this is something that you like if you found it helpful and if this is something that you would like to see more of also be sure to comment on your favorite pieces as well as your favorite looks if you enjoyed the video go ahead and smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you never miss an upload thank you so much for spending a portion of your day with me i greatly appreciate it wherever you are in the world i hope that you are living in gratitude and that you're dreaming big and living even bigger I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!